Good evening and welcome back to my table. Just thought I'd quickly hop on and do a couple of swatches with the new HD chromes that I've got. The white and rose gold ones are chameleon chromes and the normal just full black ones are just normal chromes. Mm. I've got my hand purple nova. Showing at the minute, lovely, lovely, purpley colour. As I bring it up, going more like a fuchsia colour, fuchsia pink. I'll just, just show you each one of these and then I'll come back with the top coats on. Um, and I'm using the shiny top coat by Hazel Dixon and I them at it as the base because that's what... Um, these are best off going on the Cobalt Galaxy, the Chameleon, bringing it up to the light and it changes into a beautiful purple with maybe some hints of pink in there. Hazel does the duo compacts as well, um, so you've got a, a nice choice of what chromes you like to use. So this one is rose pink. Again, a beautiful colour. This is ruby red. I love this one. It's absolutely stunning. It's deep and rich. Teal Glow. It's like a little bit of magic. And it's as though it changes into three different shades from the teal green to the purple to the fuchsia pink. I love it. And I will be buying more of these. I've also got the little compact sponge brushes that they can go on with and i'll be back in a minute ready to rock and roll right guys i'm back uh, so i'm just gonna gives a nice coverage with the cobalt galaxy There you go, sexy. But this one comes out like. Oh, wow. Yes. This is gorgeous. Right. If you can see the colour change, it looks absolutely stunning. Right, so I'm going to try the rose pink. I've got more on me than there is on the nail. So, next colour. Purple Nova. I got this one before yesterday, so I'm not surprised that that's something like that. It's just so subtle. And it's still got that spark. You can see it. The ruby red. <laughs> and this is why you need to wear gloves because it is a messy job, but you don't want to explore, expose yourself to anything that possibly could potentially cause a nail allergy. I love that. Right, next one. I'm going to put the lid on that one. And then I'm going to try the cobalt glue. Don't 
think that looks bad actually. Get your thoughts on that one. Something different on each bit. It makes it more effective. <laughs> again and the ruby red hope you can see clear enough right before I've let them cool down a minute or two as well before I uh, decided to put the chrome on Again, this could get messy. Just try remember careful that I don't catch the corner with the applicator. That's one done. Now with this I could just Dab a little bit of the through the red onto the tip. Don't think you can you may be able to just see a slight change in colour. You can. <laughs> Can you see that? Just want to see what just blending those two together. Like, I don't think I've done too bad to say I've never used crumbs before. So I will tidy up the top coat and then I will show you. Well, I'm actually cleaning the brush because there was just a little bit of chrome on my top coat, and you can see it there as well. I didn't want to contaminate it with colours because otherwise, when you come to use it on um, other nail designs problem being the rest it will contaminate all the nails that you do with them. Right I'm back. Just to remind you of everything that I used today. The chameleon tailor glow and again psycho like so. You see it change there. Then Cobalt Galaxy again. 
beautiful illustration and you see that lovely purpley thing it's just stunning towards the camera starts to change it's like cool it's like fuchsia pinky just gorgeousness and then we've got the both the stunning ruby red and rose pink rose pink not peach pink I did in Matt and shine it. That one I used the three chameleon colours. It totally gives the nail a different look every time. And with this one, I'm going to actually. Keep going on that one and do a bit of um, artwork on it with the HD Pro Art Gels. Right, the ruby red and the rose pink, and also purple nova with this design. And first, I did it with the matte. And then decided to go over it with a second coat of the shiner, just giving it that bit of extra depth. I also did that's the ruby red, and then you've got rose pink, two beautiful colours. so shiny and under this one I used a mix of the rose pink and the ruby red and again I think it's just subtle but you can just see a slight difference with the shade and you can see this one Cobalt Galaxy. With these, it's brilliant because you can do design these and you just get something different every time. I've never used the HD Brums before. Um, and that's the rose pink and it it's quite nice actually with the matte. Then I've got the teal glow in the matte. you can just subtly see it as I move it, it does change, it's just very low, as you can see, I've got just an ever such a small amount, I think it's just made it very effective to coat it with. So that's one thing you do have to be careful with when you're using the crones. Um, is you've got to put enough pressure on to apply the chrome but be careful that you don't catch it with your makeup applicator because you don't want to ruin your design hope you've enjoyed watching it guys um, Keep your eyes peeled for more videos being uploaded onto my channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll put the link to Hazel's website below in the description box and put a description of everything that I've used in the video. Thanks again for watching. Catch you later. Bye.